Hi, this is Tony with the Red Power Team. Today we're in an 8250 flagship series combine and we're going to be doing header height calibration with a Macdon Draper head. So the first thing we want to do when we hook up our head is Obviously we want to make sure that we have our electrical connection plugged into our head and that our head is attached to the feeder house of the combine. Before we start the calibration process, there's one thing we want to do is we want to roll our head forward to the B and a half position first. So we're going to use our front shift button on our handle and then from there we're going to use the reel fore and aft and we're going to roll our head forward to B and a half before we start the calibration process. Once we have that complete, we're going to, on our monitor, we're gonna press our back button. We're gonna to go to toolbox. And from there, we're gonna to go to our head one tab across the bottom. Once we're on head one, we wanna verify that we have the settings set correctly for this head. So this would be a Macdon Draper head um, also known as a 2162 head and we want to make sure that we have a 2000 series head selected in our options. So we're going to go through, we have our 2000 series head selected, we have a flex type frame, we've got a 40 foot head attached, our target work width, we dropped that down to 38 and a half feet because we just have loss for a level of guidance on this combine. Uh, other settings we want to double check is at the bottom, auto cut width, so that it auto adjusts our head width as we're combining across the field. As we scroll down, we don't have any other options we can change. So across the bottom, we're gonna go to our head two tab. Once we're in our head two tab, we wanna make sure that our header sensors are enabled as we continue on down, we've got our header height tilt response. Uh, usually with a Draper head, we can get by with just normal with a Macdon Draper attached for our header height tilt response. We continue on down and we can scroll down to further settings. Uh, one of them that I usually adjust is real speed minimum. By default, this is a lot of times set to around three mile per hour for your real speed. I like to drop my reel speed down even lower. That way when I'm just creeping along, maybe I get to some really tough beans out in the field, I can really slow that reel down uh, quite a bit at less than three mile an hour by doing that. We scroll down even further and we don't have reel speed sensors on this head. Uh, a couple other things that we want to check as we scroll down is our header lateral tilt. So we turn header lateral tilt off with the draper head because we don't have lateral tilt sensors on it. So we set that to no. And the last option on the bottom is this combine is equipped with a hydraulic adjust face plate. So we want to make sure that we're set on header features so that when we do the shift real fore and aft that it rolls the head forward and back and not the face plate forward and back. Once we verify these settings, the next thing we're going to want to do is do a head calibration. To do a head calibration, we're going to press our back button. We're going to go to calibrations. And we have a white box that shows up here on top underneath calibration. We're going to press that white box and select header. So this is going to walk us through calibrating header height on our combine. I'm going to press OK. And now it says to pulse the header down button. So I just press my head down button once and release. The head now goes to the ground. And it's going to push the feeder house down as low as it can go during this step. Once it completes the step, it comes up to step two. We're gonna press the plus button and release to raise our head up. 
our head is going to raise all the way up. Once it's completed this step, we now press the minus button to lower our head back down. This step takes a little bit longer to perform as it's learning the head weight and different pressures needed to raise and lower the head. Once we've completed that step, our next one is we're going to pulse our head back up. So we press the plus button again. When we press that, the feeder house is also going to go down for just a second and then it's going to start raising back up again. So don't let that throw you off that when you press the raise button, you actually see the feeder house go down right away first before it starts raising back up. Once the calibration has completed, our next step is we're going to raise our head up to about halfway up and then now we would set our set points one and two. When we set our set points one and two, this is so that the combine knows at what point do we combine at and at what point do we turn around at on our headlands. So to set our set points, we are going to start up our separator and then we're gonna start our feeder up. Once we have that running, we're going to lower our head down to the height that we want to combine at. So with a draper head, we're going to lower down until our indicators around that two to two and a half range for our height. Once we have our head set to that height, we're going to go ahead and press number one. We're going to then raise our head to the height we want to have it when we turn around on the end of the field. And once we have it set to the height we want to turn around at, we're going to go ahead and press number two. By doing that, we have now just set the two heights for our header height. So we can go ahead and press our resume button. And our head will go down to the height we want to combine at. And then when we press our resume button again, our head's going to raise up to the height we want to turn around at. Once we have those settings set, we want to verify that we're, our combine is turning on and off our acres as we raise and lower our head. So to do this, on the screen we see that we've got a gray arrow pointing up that tells us that we're turning around on the end of the headland. When I press my resume button and our head lowers down, we should get a green arrow pointing down when our head's lowered down, combining across the field. If we need to adjust this, we're going to make this adjustment. I'm going to press back, go to our toolbox. From there, I'm going to go to our head one tab. Under head one, we've got max work height. This is where we adjust where the head kicks on and off our acre counting as we're going across the field. What I usually like to do is I raise my head up to the height that I turn around at. So once I'm at that height that I turn around at, I'm gonna manually lower my head down just a little bit. Once I've done that, I'm gonna go up to my max work height. I can press that button, I'm gonna hit set enter and now at that point that just reset the height that our GPS is going to log our acres turning on and off as we go back and forth across the field. Hope this was helpful in getting your combine set up with your Draper head this year and getting those initial head settings and calibrations completed. For more information check out the Red Power Team's website and our YouTube page for more helpful videos. Thank you.